The crucial element in creating even better lives for hemophilia patients is research, and many believe the next breakthroughs will come on two major fronts. There's a research section. Uh, we're continually interested. Hemophilia is one of those rare diseases that's on the cusp of having a genetic cure for it. Uh, we, our gene has been mapped. Uh, it is conceivable. We had some um, human trials early on. We're not there yet, but uh, that's a big part of what we do. The longer term goal is a form of gene therapy in which we actually can replace the gene that's missing with an effective gene. Um, the proof of principle for that is the factor eight and factor nine genes make the protein in the liver and in some of these patients with hemophilia, we have done liver transplants and they have been cured of their hemophilia. So once the patient receives a new gene, they're cured of their hemophilia. So the proof of principle is already there. We just have to figure out how to give them the gene. And they're focused on factor nine and they have treated patients with gene therapy to put the factor nine gene into the liver and it has worked for a few weeks, but that's a big breakthrough for research and we think that within another 10 or 15 years, we should be able to provide gene therapy to patients with hemophilia. I'm not certain that there'll be a cure in my lifetime, but I do believe the treatments will continue to improve so that the, the frequency with which I have to treat, it will become less that the medications will last longer in my system so that they're not all gone within 48 hours. In terms of current research uh, that will be come have results quickly, uh, they're looking at ways to uh, change the factor eight molecule or the factor nine molecule that's being injected so that it will last a long time. Right now, that factor eight or factor nine is gone in 48 hours, which is why they have to give another injection 48 hours later. The pharmaceutical companies are making new protein products that have a long life, so that instead of infusing every other day and never having a spontaneous bleed, the hope is that these children or adults can infuse once every two weeks. And instead of infusing every other day with an intravenous infusion, once every two weeks will be a big advance. So we currently are doing a phase three clinical trial, the only one in the world, and we're about halfway through that and the results should be available uh, in the middle of 2010. Um, obviously it's a randomized double blind trial, so I don't know which patient's getting which, but I feel like I know. And I think it's a very promising short term solution to allow infusions once every two weeks and have no spontaneous bleeding. That'll be a huge advance. That'll be the biggest advance since 1980. I get tears in my eyes when I see these young hemophiliacs that are buff and strong and lifting weights and are doing these things that I was never able to participate in. It, it helps me relive um, my childhood vicariously through their their actions and it's just it's 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 so huge and it's such a great thing to be a part of that I would pay to do this.